continuing to field questions for us similarly i have a student from within the telegram group who's asking about the best way to tackle msk slash anatomy for step one because i have not yet made an msk anatomy pdf and then he goes on to say because the first several pages of my family medicine pdf which is all clinical msk he says it's very limited essentially he's harping on the fact that my coverage is insufficient for MSK. So he wants to know what to cover and I'll give you some input here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. So student is unsatisfied with my coverage of MSK in terms of my resources so far. And I do communicate from an angle of humility that yes, I need to get on producing MSK content. However, uh, for the time being, June 2022, time of this clip, is a combination of we still have the first aid chapter for MSK. Yes, you can look at that in terms of uh, a hard copy uh, book type textual resource. My approach for students in general, because we don't know the uh, allotment of left field questions you're going to get on your real deal. For instance, could you get a lot of weird biochemistry, a lot of weird pharmacology drugs you never heard of before? I mean, when we talk about MSK anatomy, I don't think it's worth it for you to study like atlases or be reading high yield anatomy, quote unquote, books. I think that's largely a waste of time. What I do think you should do, apart from having the FA chapter uh, as an option, is you can literally just go through the NBME exams, as I've talked about, 20 through 30 for step one. And then when you encounter uh, an, an anatomy slash MSK concept within one of those questions, that's when you study it. Okay, so rather than at this moment, taking a proactive approach where you're going to sit in your room for eight hours studying anatomy MSK, apart from the FA chapter, I think you should go through the NBME exams. And then when you encounter a question, for instance, on the rotator cuff muscles, you say, okay, well, now is the time I review the subscapularis, uh, infraspinatus, supraspinatus, teres minor, etc. Okay, so like, now is the time I am spending the six minutes reviewing that concept. You go through more NBME questions, and then you encounter other anatomy concepts. So you study anatomy based on going through the NBME content. That way, you know that what you're studying is literally what's on the fucking exam, okay? In addition to the first day chapter. And, you know, as the students already pointed out, the first several pages of my family medicine PDF, which I'll link in the, uh, the description slash the comments below, the first several pages are all highly... Uh, relevant clinical anatomy, okay, slash, uh, you know, MSK stuff. So, you know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.